Hello friends, welcome to Learn with Preshu Spring Framework Tutorials. So, um, because of the demand of the subscribers on my channel, I have started a new series on Spring Framework. So, uh, because you know, Spring Framework is a very demanding uh, um, technology, and in, in the Java, everybody uh, wants to work in Spring Framework because it is very, very uh, security wise, it is very nice technology. So, uh, that's why I came up with the uh, series of Spring Framework for you guys and um, uh, i have many subscribers who told me like uh, uh, please ma'am can you teach us spring framework or uh, so i thought maybe i can start a, a new series on spring framework so uh, in this video uh, i will explain i will not explain you what is spring framework but i will explain you the co content of the uh, you need to uh, i will i will cover on the series like i this is the first video of my series so there will be many videos after this series for for covering the topic of spring framework so uh, what i want to say uh, tell is like uh, uh, in this video i will explain what are the content what are the uh, points or what are the what is the syllabus of spring framework which i will going to explain you in my coming series and what are the prerequisites what you need to do to complete this series or uh, uh, to learn with uh, learn from this series or like basic basic um, uh, terminologies and uh, i will explain you in the series so let's start uh, if we talk about content, so con uh, content, um, uh, I will explain you uh, uh, f uh, in the spring framework from beginning to end. Like I will explain you, uh, I will start from spring core. Spring core is a very important um, or base of spring framework. Spring In the spring core, I will explain core, beans uh, and special um, um, expressions and um, context, everything I will explain explain you in the spring core um, and then uh, it will be uh, next topic will be the spring integration data integration and data access in this uh, um, in this uh, part of the spring framework tutorial i will explain you the operation uh, database operations jdbc spring jdbc orm and everything related to database operation with spring i will explain you and then in the uh, after that i will explain you spring web uh, in the spring web i will try to explain you spring mvc it's a very important topic actually and um, i will explain you how we can uh, build a web application using spring framework and um, or uh, uh, model view controller uh, i will explain you in the spring core i will explain you injection dependency injection uh, in inversion of control various type of injections how can we uh, uh, use context and uh, like basic uh, in the spring core it's, it will be basic of spring and then it will be becoming level up uh, um, uh, it will become more and more detail in the spring framework and then in spring web i it's i will explain you in mvc architecture how can we use spring mvc and all that and that uh, then another um, i will explain you some other modules as well like spring boot and um, uh, there will be many other uh, like i will in uh, in i will first in first video i will explain you the introduction of spring then i will explain you core basics concepts advanced concepts and then annotations i will explain you i will explain you in the spring web mvc op aop orm and then i will explain you in the uh, i will explain you a little bit about hibernate as well uh, spring transactions it, it will come in the J, spring data integration jdbc spring jdbc okay and then i will try to explain you these topics like hibernate annotation jpa hibernate mapping query languages transactions and catching so i will try to explain you like understanding ioc dependency injection 
so here whatever the points are here are written i will try to explain each and everything in the detail uh, in the coming series in videos in the series so try be uh, be focused on the series and try to follow me on the series if you want to uh, uh, watch all the videos related to these topics i i recommend you please subscribe my channel so that you can and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all the notification whenever i upload a new video so uh, by this way uh, you can uh, learn more about spring framework so i promise you like i will make you um, uh, learn spring framework very easily i will i will explain to the point everything will be to the point and next is prerequisite of the course what are the prerequisites of the course what you need to learn before you going moving to the spring framework so first thing you need to uh, learn is core java uh, because core java is very important it's a basic if you don't know what is java but how the concepts of oop com, uh, how oops concepts works if you don't have idea about that you can never understand spring framework because in spring framework we will going to use posos and encapsulation polymorphism inheritance interfaces these all ex, ex, uh, um, concepts we are going to use in spring uh, in dependency injections we are we were using ex uh, and like um, uh, over method overloading method uh, and class uh, interfaces we will going to use so by because of those things you need to understand why uh, and how the this those concepts works in java so that's why you need to have a basic knowledge at least you you need to have a basic knowledge of oops concepts then first thing uh, spring uh, data integration you need to know about jdbc uh, jdbc uh, java database connectivity it's it's related to database connectivity database operations inserting deleting or like uh, 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 operation related to database okay and uh, if you know really uh, basics of jdbc then you will understand easily that the in spring integration data integration module and then uh, you you need to understand servlets and jsp as well so servlets and jsp by using these uh, by if you learn servlets and jsp then you will understand spring web module because in spring web module i will going to explain you how the projects build web web application build how uh, i will explain you the uh, examples and uh, like um, um, practical uh, examples as well some practical projects i will explain you so for that you need to understand springs is uh, servlet and jsps as well uh, and of course you need to have in, have a knowledge of database and web related terms like uh, uh, what is mvc what is model view controller how M maven work uh, like this such kind of things uh, you need to know because uh, and one more thing in spring framework i will uh, uh in uh, uh, in this spring other important modules i will explain you the test uh, unit testing as well some part of unit testing also i will explain you so keep watching my videos uh, so that uh, um you will uh, understand everything now next why should you learn with ratio so the question arise i i arise in your mind it should be arise in your mind like there are many videos on internet why should i learn with ratio so uh, there are some points i can explain you why you should learn with me uh, i always speak uh, point, to the point content like i my content are to the point they uh, i never explain here and there and i do not want to waste your time guys so that's why i always try to explain to the point things i clear i clear my explanations are clear and practical approach i have used always like i i never give only theoretical videos i have been uh, in if you see my java videos um, yeah those are in hindi but uh, uh, because um, i have start because no there are there were no audience no that much audience so i started explaining in english because i was thinking like uh, uh, yeah it should be universal like it should be work in international the video should be looks look looked in international because i am uh, Uh, creating video from sweden so maybe it will be reach some international countries and then uh, english should be must they don't understand hindi yes so that's why i started creating videos in english 
but if you look in my videos you will find out like i have explained very practically uh, everything and that i have explained theoretical also like in the beginning i have to explain theoretical part and then in then uh, after theory i explain in the practical and giving examples like code examples as well if you have any doubts you can come you can ask any doubts in my comment section of the video and yeah i have created a whatsapp group also like um, for your small doubts like i can solve uh, uh, which i can solve by chat so that's why i have created a whatsapp group you can ask there some some of your doubts i can solve there and uh, i will put a link into the description box so that you can join my whatsapp group if you want it it's very it's very easy you need to join this whatsapp group and just subs uh, for that you need to just subscribe my channel and join the whatsapp group um and uh, you can ask any question related to programming i will try to answer if i can and uh, yeah and then uh, in the fifth thing is like i use industry approach like i i try to explain you how job culture is work uh, in the job culture how they work so i tried to explain you like because i know how how uh, programmers works in their work uh, like company so i can explain you in according according to that situation my source code not all like in mo uh, most of the source code of uh, mine is up, uh, available on blogs in my blogs ratio all in one dot blogspot dot com if you follow this uh, um, blog uh, you you will find out all my uh, videos related to um, java and my all my videos you will find out there not all but i i am trying to upload day by day uh, so there will be 28 blogs i think and you will find uh, many topics related to java there in english so it will be easy for you to understand if you are not comfortable in hindi because in the beginning i have created videos in hindi so maybe you are uh, you are thinking like i can uh, some of you don't understand hindi so you can follow my blogs if you want and that's why i'm saying there are many advantages is in real time learning so re real time means you can ask directly in the whatsapp group and i can um, answer you directly so you uh, and i always try to uh, um, answer comments on the videos as well uh, 100 90% of comments i answer directly so i think you can have a very good uh, like a very good feeling uh, you understand very much from my videos i think you will understand so much and then uh, next is support like if you want to support me just uh, subscribe my channel on uh, facebook youtube instagram if you want to search uh, uh, on youtube just write learn with ratio and you will find out my channel uh, on google as well if you write learn with ratio you will find out many links you can uh, you can follow the channel on instagram as well you can follow my page learn with ratio on facebook as well and i have started a new channel on daily motion as well so if you want you can follow um, uh, follow me on daily motion as well so that's it for today guys like i wanted to tell you today today's we in today's video just i wanted to tell you like what are what are the topics i will going to cover on spring framework uh, course and that's why i have created this video so that you will get an overview about uh, what are the things i will going to explain you and uh, yes i was th i am thinking like uh, that's it for today and uh, let's see and from uh, next video i will start the introduction of spring and then going uh, ahead of um, like i will go ahead with a more detail explanation of spring framework so i hope you subscribe my channel and follow me on instagram and facebook uh, yes and please subscribe my channel and be with me please support me thank you very much bye bye